Half the year has gone by in a flash. Did we make the best of it? One day at a time allows us to focus on the present moment rather than becoming overwhelmed by the past or the future. It helps us manage our challenges by breaking them down into manageable daily efforts which can reduce anxiety and promote steady progress. As it says, spiritual progress, not spiritual perfection. We do shoot for the stars. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share, then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, there are no accidents in God's world. July 31st, thought for the day. This leaves only one day, today. Anyone can fight the battles of just one day. It is only when you and I add the burden of those two awful eternities, yesterday and tomorrow, that we break down. It is not the experience of today that drives us mad. It is the remorse or bitterness for something which happened yesterday or the dread of what tomorrow may bring. Let us therefore do our best to live but one day at a time. Am I living one day at a time? Meditation for the day. Give God the gift of a thankful heart. Try to see causes of thankfulness in your everyday life. When life seems hard and troubles crowd, then look for some reasons for thankfulness. There is nearly always something you can be thankful for. The offering of thanksgiving is indeed a sweet incense going up to God throughout a busy day. Seek diligently for something to be glad and thankful about. You will acquire in time the habit of being constantly grateful to God for all His blessings. Each new day, some new cause for joy and gratitude will spring to your mind, and you will thank God sincerely. Prayer for the day. I pray for a truly thankful heart. I pray that I may be constantly reminded of causes for sincere gratitude. The out-of-control or uncontrollable nature of life will make us crazy without faith, a belief in a higher power. To be comfortable in our own skin requires us alcoholics to believe in our inner core we are protected and safe, which enables us to experience life with joy and curiosity. We let go and let God. When we were active in our alcoholism, we procrastinated and our field of vision was very narrow as our minds ruminated on the mundane. We were like a car engine stuck in neutral, revving at 10,000 RPMs. Rarely did things go the way we wanted because we were sick and had magical thinking. We didn't work for what we wanted and expected a life of 365 days a year of Christmas every day. We were takers, victims, and we were resentful of others who did what they needed to do to accomplish their goals. Today we are sober and have worked the steps, and we try to live the steps every day. Included in this is doing the next right thing, being responsible and willing to do what is necessary. Life is good now that we are participating in life instead of being a spectator afraid to get on the field. Yesterday is in the rearview mirror, and tomorrow will get here on its own. We have today to enjoy and appreciate every challenge and opportunity that comes our way. Tomorrow is yesterday's today. We are grateful for what did happen yesterday, regardless if we received what we were hoping for, because our higher power provides a better life than our most epic fantasies. When we experience those inevitable challenges in sobriety, of course we wish those challenges didn't happen, but we smile and pray to God for the opportunity to show we can handle anything with our new attitude. 
Our manner of thinking and behaving is not self-serving and fearful, but it is open-minded and faithful that all will be well. For after all, God gave us brains to use, and we can figure out a solution. A solution may be for us to do nothing, to pause, and let it all sort itself out. The right thought and action will come intuitively when we are spiritually aligned. For that, we are grateful, and we know serenity. Consider, there are no accidents in God's world. July 31st, thought for the day. This leaves only one day, today. Anyone can fight the battles of just one day. It is only when you and I add the burden of those two awful eternities, yesterday and tomorrow, that we break down. It is not the experience of today that drives us mad. It is the remorse or bitterness for something which happened yesterday or the dread of what tomorrow may bring. Let us therefore do our best to live but one day at a time. Am I living one day at a time? Meditation for the day. Give God the gift of a thankful heart. Try to see causes of thankfulness in your everyday life. When life seems hard and troubles crowd, then look for some reasons for thankfulness. There is nearly always something you can be thankful for. The offering of thanksgiving is indeed a sweet incense going up to God throughout a busy day. Seek diligently for something to be glad and thankful about. You will acquire in time the habit of being constantly grateful to God for all His blessings. Each new day, some new cause for joy and gratitude will spring to your mind and you will thank God sincerely. Prayer for the day. I pray for a truly thankful heart. I pray that I may be constantly reminded of causes for sincere gratitude. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.